A chance to meet winemakers face to face takes place over the next two days, happening this weekend in Santa Barbara. To find out what they've been creating over the last couple of years during the pandemic. News Channel reporter John Palminteri joins us live with that. And John, a festival setting includes wineries close to home and from across the state. A key component to the wine industry is that one-on-one -on face-to-face contact with his customers to talk about the wine, where the grapes came from, how the wine was made, where it was made, and the result of that process. Now, some people go to tasting rooms or to wineries to get that story, and some come right down here to a wine festival. Crews have arrived for the California Wine Festival in Santa Barbara, bringing out a big setup for wineries, chefs, and even some breweries. This is all set up on the ocean side of Chase Palm Park, which is part of the two-day event, and will have the largest crowd on Saturday. A special ticketed private tasting event is Friday night at the Chase Palm Park Carousel building across the street. It's a great opportunity for not only local wineries, but wineries from all over California and to get out here and get back in front of their customers, show them what they've been up to the past couple of years. This is the first time we're back to our original date in July since 2019. These festivals are important for the industry and winemakers get a chance to have one-on-one -on -one contact with customers to talk about everything that's been going on in the last couple of years when many of these events were off the calendar due to the pandemic. We'll have over 50 wineries on Saturday. Um, we'll have them all the way from as far north as Mendocino County, Napa Valley, Sonoma, and then as far south as Temecula, and obviously some great Santa Barbara County wineries from our own backyard. With more people coming out to events, concerts, and festivals this summer, the open air setting is the most popular, and this one has a much larger footprint to it than this wine festival has had in the past. We've actually expanded the footprint of both events to just, um, you know, encourage a little bit more elbow room between our attendees. There will also be a barbecue competition with the attendees judging the best tri-tip from seven chefs, some representing restaurants or caterers. But to get such a broad regional sample of wine is what many people come out for. Yeah, I mean, everyone has a different palate and likes a different wine. And so it really gives you a good chance to see, you know, does this terroir, is this a, a, you know, a type of wine that I like or is this a region that I prefer? The wine grape industry is a big component to the annual agricultural income for Santa Barbara County. Wine grapes rank number five on the crop list, right up there with strawberries, broccoli, cauliflower and nursery flowers. The number one grape grown in Santa Barbara County is Pinot Noir followed by Chardonnay, Syrah, and Sauvignon Blanc. And a similar festival will also be held. They actually have three more to the south of us in places like Huntington Beach and Carlsbad. A portion of the proceeds from the California Wine Festival here in Santa Barbara will go to the food bank of Santa Barbara County. Reporting live along the Santa Barbara waterfront where the festival takes place tomorrow and Saturday, I'm News Channel reporter John Palmentary. Right, you just can't beat the venue, can you? <laughs> no, you okay. can't. Thanks, John. Thanks, John. Stunning images.